mean, you are watching CT Style. So in our hectic world, adults aren't the only ones coping with stress and anxiety. It's affecting children and teens right at an alarming rate. And one who was affected by that, Tessa Zimmerman, is the founder of Asset Education. It's a nonprofit organization dedicated to helping students manage those feelings. And she has her debut book. It's called I Am Tessa, and she shares her personal stories. Welcome here to CT Style. Thank you for having me, guys. So Absolutely. Tessa, I think when people think of anxiety and stress, they think adults. Right. But this is a problem that teens are facing. You yourself went through it. Right. It's actually like a really, really big problem. According to an American Psychological Society study, 83% of American teenagers say school is a significant or somewhat source of stress. Mm -hmm. And so teens are really living with immense pressures that we haven't really seen before. Sure. And that's and what you went through? Yeah. I grew up with panic attacks in the classroom and just would constantly feel this significant pressure to mm -hmm. get an A. Like sure. it was always about having to get into college and cope. And, and in your shoes at the time, did you know, hey, I have anxiety or do, do you just feel out of place or out of sorts? I mean, it, it has to be a difficult time for you as a teenager. Yeah, I think you think you're crazy. Like already <laughs> you, as a teenager, you think you're a little crazy, mm -hmm. but then to sure. add anxiety into the mix, sure. it just levels up. But it's great because you've been able to pay it forward to a lot of other students in the future here and of course with the book. So, so give us some tips and uh, ways that you're able to help the young Ones. Yeah, well, my, one of my favorite ways to deal with anxiety and stress is when no one knows you're coping, right? You want to be really sneaky about it. I mm -hmm. call it sneaky mindfulness. <laughs> so uh, one of the tools that I use, and we teach this to a lot of high school students, it's called finger breathing. Okay. So essentially, you take a hold of your left thumb with your right hand, take okay. an inhale, yeah. and exhale. Then switch right thumb, inhale, exhale. Then switch to your left pointer finger. Inhale. Oh, keep going, right? Exhale. And you can do that for all so ten fingers. That kind of takes just your mind off. Just take the time to breathe yeah. a little bit, right? right? It's, it's that simple. Decompress a little. Similar to tapping, right? Kind of a similar. Right. Technique. It's almost like just getting your, you know, your mind off of your thoughts mm -hmm. and back into your body and your breath. And it's a really easy way for high school students before they take a test. Uh, before they have a sports game, whatever mm. it may be, just something to calm them down. Now, Tessa, I don't think too many college students take it upon themselves to write a book <laughs> about this, but you did. How, what made you say, this is what I want to do? Well, you know, I grew up with anxiety, and I think a lot of people weren't really shining a light on the problem, but more importantly, I really knew that there are just, like, different coping mechanisms mm -hmm. and tools that young people can use, and I wanted to write the book so that they could have a toolbox of tools mm -hmm. right in one book. Now, now, what advice do you have for parents or people who might be on the uh, receiving end of, of somebody with anxiety, what advice do you have for them in, in helping to cope with it? The thir first thing I think parents should start to focus on is explaining to their teens what is anxiety, what is the fight or flight response, because I think teens think they're crazy, um, but we really want to separate the anxiety from themselves. So you can start to research and say, like, okay, well, let's talk about your amygdala and let's talk about what is the fight or flight response and where does that show up for you and start there. And the proceeds from your book are going to your nonprofit? They are. They are. So I started a nonprofit. It's called Asset Education and we train and equip high school teachers with different lesson plans so they can integrate anxiety skills into everyday classrooms. Such an important topic. Yeah. I'm glad you're, you're bringing attention to yeah. it. Thank you. Shiny star yeah. here in the state. That's great. Yeah, Excellent work that you're doing. Trying. Yeah. Tessa, thanks so much for being here. The name of the Thank book you. again is I Am Tessa. Where can we find it? You can find it on Amazon Fantastic. and Barnes & Nobles. Very nice. Good for you. All Thank right. you, Tessa.